because I'm making this video, there's this really uber sad AFCA commercial. They are killing me. When I try to change, it's like these commercials are following me. They, If I look at them too long, I'll cry. I really hate ha hearing about any kind of abuse, whether it's animal abuse, child abuse, or senior citizens abuse. And it's just really painful, and I really hate that. So uh, this video, I guess, was just to tell people to please spay and neuter your animals, especially cats, because sometimes cats leave and they don't come back. And you don't want to, and you don't want to know that one cat that you had was responsible for ten or twenty homeless kittens. And you gotta think, winter when winter time comes, they die, or you just never know what happens to them. They get hit by a car. So please, especially people, even though your cat may be indoors, those are sneaky little bastards. Sometimes they, you know, get out. So please spay and neuter them. There's a program called Muffins. I don't know if it's available to everybody, but check them out. I think it's muffins.org where they do offer affordable spaying and neutering programs. As well as, I know in New York City, the Petland discounts, they're in conjunction with CACC, or what is it? I think it's AC, something with C's, it's Animal Care and Control, but you can look that up, like, I got my cat neutered, and I, it was for free, and I got it, I, yeah, I got it for free, and it's either free or low cost, if you do pay, I think it's $40, but unfortunately, my cat, my cat is cryptorchid, Meaning he has a ball, well, a testicle in his body somewhere. So they said if he does have any problems, like to like take him to a a veterinarian. So apparently that one ball alone, it needs he still needs to be spayed because he he's not spayed and he neutered because he's spraying like territorial spraying. Like I realize there's a cat living somewhere outside near my house. And I guess he smells it, so he's still kind of, oh my gosh, that's rude. I'm mean, just scratching myself. <laughs> so he's still territorial, so please, you know, look into that. What other information can I give you guys? Well, muffins.org, and, um, but yeah, there are low-cost ways and sometimes free. If you are on public assistance or, I think it's public Public assistance of any kind, whether it's food stamps or the others, I'm not too sure. But I know if you're getting help from the government, that means you're, you know, times are hard and your animals do need help too, so they do offer. I think they offer like shots too. I know Petland did. What else is there? Well, that's basically it. So I wanted to end this video. Also, too, please, if you are interested in a pure beat animal, there's tons of purebred animals at the shelter. And sometimes there's little dogs, too. Recently, some some dogs were taken from the puppy mills. And, you know, a lot of people like Yorkies, so there were Yorkies, Poodles, and some other small dogs. They're at the North Shore, North Shore Animal League in Port Washington, New York. I remember I went there for my, my dog. She's like almost 10 right now. And you do pay, you like, she was a puppy. I got her at like 12 weeks. Puppies, you have, they won't let, like, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm watching Touch Point oh, disastrous. Oof. Anyway, people on the stripper poles falling and busting their sugar honey and tea. Embarrassing and funny as hell. Oh, anyway, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be about animals. So, yes, please. Try going to Port Washington. They charge you maybe like they charge you probably cheaper than the pound. Like and then a lot of the times the animals are purebred. You can find like what I call cuter animals. I'm not much of a pit bull, but not all pit bulls are bad. So please, if you're interested in a pit bull, you know do your research, especially when you have young children. And you know, saving any life is is a good thing. Uh, what I do like with North Shore Animal League is there are no kill shelter. So if you ever have extra funds, please donate to them. Donating is really good. And, you know, helping out, you know, for the cause. So, yeah, recently, so I guess if you're in the New York area and you're looking for Yorkshire Ontario, you can check out Port Washington North Shore Animal League.
also too, do know if you are buying a puppy from a pet store, they are puppy mill puppies, and if you don't know what it is, please Google them. The animals stay in cages for the rest of their life to breed. So, and if, a lot of the times, the rescuers have taken these animals and put them on the ground, and they did not even know how to walk, especially on grass, because it was so unfamiliar to their paws. And some of them, some places, they have them constantly running, like it's exercise, but then they, their paws, it's just like, it's actually like, if they had to be a human equation, it's like... It's it's almost it's it's like I wouldn't say slavery, but it's just it's just inhumane. And for people who actually see animals as having feelings and emotions, and that's just property, please don't buy any more animals from the pet store. Their their puppies look cute, but when you go back and look for their mom and their parents, they're still they don't even get brush combed. Sometimes they're matted. Sometimes the babies come out really sickly because a lot, a lot of, just like human beings, human beings really and truly are supposed to wait a certain amount of time before having another child. So they just keep breeding them and breeding them. Where if you constantly breeding something, one of those babies are bound to be sickly or something's wrong with them. And then what is so sad is that they kill them. They just kill the animals if they can't breed anymore. Just con could you imagine constantly being forced to have babies and you have no say and you don't even get to walk and get pet and just, you know, and then have your babies ripped away from you? So it just hurts my heart. I don't want to think about it anymore. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Please be more aware of the things you do and the actions that you take. Bye.